so now uh, you can see uh, this is the focaccia that uh, we, I have already made and the recipe of which I am going to share with you this is the basil and rosemary focaccia so let's see how we can make it so for this uh, I am taking 2 by 3 cup of warm water so this is the lukewarm water that I am taking not very hot into this I am going to add half teaspoon of sugar so we will have to uh, mix this so uh, till the time the sugar is completely dissolved so after uh, dissolving the sugar we have to add the active dry yeast to this now as the sugar has completely dissolved we are going to add this yeast to this so now this is active dry yeast that I have taken we have to mix this So just mix it well so that there are no remaining lumps and then we have to leave this mixture at the room temperature for 10-12 minutes or till the time this mixture becomes frothy. So since uh, this time in North India it's pretty cold here that is why I will leave this solution by covering it with a lid or a plate so that it keeps warm for some time. So I am going to remove this spoon and will keep it covered for some time around 12 minutes have passed so we'll just check this and you can see this has become frothy now so we'll mix it again like this So I think uh, we can just let it sit for another 5 minutes. So it's taking time probably because it's too cold out here. So let's again keep it for some time around 5 minutes more. In this bowl uh, I'm taking around 1.5 cups of whole wheat flour. So this is uh, some remaining flour that I have kept uh, that might be used while making the dough. Into this I am adding 1.5 tablespoons of sesame oil. So you have the option uh, you can use uh, even olive oil or sesame oil. Then I am adding half teaspoon of salt to this. You can even add more as per your liking. That totally depends on your taste and this has to be uh, mixed really well initially you can start uh, by, uh, uh, by uh, this spatula to mix it and later on you can use your fingers for mixing as already shared uh, this is the flour which was uh, 1.5 cups and into that I had added uh, around 1.5 tablespoons of olive oil and half teaspoon of salt. So now I am going to add half of this mixture of 
ईस्ट सो आफ्टर एडिंग दिस आई हैव टू नीड दिस लाइक वी नीड द डोज फॉर चपातीज एंड एवरीथिंग सो वी हैव टू नीड इट लाइक दिस कीप नीडिंग now add this remaining yeast mixture and again we have to knead so the dough has to be really elastic and smooth and you have to knead it till that time so if you are finding it very very wetty you can add more flour and if it seems to be very dry you can even add add little bit of water now you can see this seems to be a little wetty so i am adding little flour and then we have to knead it again so i am using this board for kneading it so as i told you this has to be really smooth and elastic so keep kneading it till it becomes smooth so after kneading it it will look like this kind of smooth and elastic dough so now we have to leave it for leavening so for that i am going to use this bowl and which is greased with olive oil and into this i am putting this dough and if you want you can just pat it with little bit of oil on the top and then we will have to keep it covered for around 2 to 3 hours so 2 to 3 hours is minimum but as i said it's pretty cold here so it will depend uh, like how many hours it will take for doubling up so we will have to wait till it gets doubled now i have taken 1.5 tablespoons of oil and into this i am adding chopped fresh basil leaves so these were around 4 5 basil leaves if you want you can add even more and into this i am again going to add 1 teaspoon of rosemary herb so all these things i am going to mix so just mix it well if you want you can even uh, heat up the oil a little and then mix these things keep mixing now this is our leavened dough that we had kept covered for around 4 to 5 hours 
so now we have to put this into a greased pan and uh, that we have to bake so this is the dough you can see it has puffed up we can just put it on the board and again try to knead it now this is the greased baking tray into this we will have to set this dough like this and then this is our mixture of basil and rosemary this we have to pour on this mixture on this dough so after pouring this we have to make the indents with the help of our fingers like we see in the focaccia bread so you have to roughly make the indents and then again we will have to leave in it for say 30 minutes after that we will bake it in a preheated oven so after baking it for 30 to 40 minutes at 200 degrees celsius we'll get like this now it's the time to remove it from the baking dish use a sharp edged knife to cut it into the desired squares or rectangles you can see how perfectly it has been baked and just look at the texture it's very very soft also you can even slice it so that you can make a sandwich out of it so this is the focaccia bread